We carry on in the fifth subchapter of Zero Legends, previously facing some horrendous stages with chilling enemy combos. Now we proceed through the chapter with even more horrific enemies and gimmicks. Will Spook lose his sanity again? Okay, we're back on No 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 River, which is the name of the stage with Kana. Help us out with some behemoth slang pals. Okay, here's the Zenry. Hello there. We've been fighting him a lot lately because we've been doing a lot of culling stages and uh, I would say that he's honestly a pretty cool enemy. I like him. I'm kind of getting more fond of him every time I'm fighting him. He's pretty cool. I like his design too. I just don't like his slowness though, which is really... Oh my god, bro. Uh, Slime Cat cannot get a hit here, sadly. But yeah, as you can see, a big assortment of like behemoth enemies here. The money problems again. Oh my god, bro. Every stage in this sub chapter has been money struggles okay doran you didn't hit the Z brawlos hello i lost his hina brawlo oh my god dude that mini surge actually sucks it's so annoying okay since that zombie henry is a huge issue and really annoying to fight against right now i think the best place to get chief cat i'm not sure what his like stand in range is but uh i'm just hoping he's gonna do stuff because we're gonna get him nonetheless, and you know what? Why not test him out on the new enemy and see how good Chief Cat does against the Zenry? So, let's just get his true form right away. Boom. Here we go, another true form for Behemoth Slaying. And a really good zombie killer too, right? Look at that. We're getting our egg army up to their all of their true forms, which is beautiful. Let's try a Galgot a Rich Cat with Chief Cat, and if Chief Cat doesn't cut it, then I think Rich Cat is the way to go, as usual. Get really chipped here. Come on, Doran, help out, please. Let's see if Chief Cat's gonna do anything here. Is he gonna reach? Oh, I think he attacked there. He got knocked back. Chief Cat is really expensive. That's the issue. This stage is awful. I hate this stage already, man. I don't like it. It's just... The scarcity of cash is absolutely insane in this stage. It's just not friendly. Like, I think the plan is to, like, kill the Zenry really quickly before everything pops out. But, like, how are you supposed to do that with no peons that gives me cash? Like, Doron, your inconsistent surge doesn't actually help one bit. Oh my god, that's also, like, another factor that I cannot beat the stage with. Is how Doron just cannot get a good surge. Wow. Dude, that sloth just like one shot on my base. I was about to actually reset once my... Oh my god, dude. Here, have an early Kana. Here, have an early Kana. How about that? Maybe that will help. Alright, Kana. Do those good surges. I think that's one KB so far. Get a second KB, Kana, please. Yes, second KB. We chip him a little bit more so we can zombie kill him. Okay, nice. Okay, good timing, Spook. Haha! -ha! Okay, we killed the Zenry. The question is, is that the only Zenry in the stage? Can we kill the Sloth quickly? I'd rather take the Sloth out now before the next uh, Zenry pops out. Because I bet there's another Zenry. Alright, so it seems like the technique to the stage is just getting your Kana out ASAP. And then just zombie kill that Zenry with uh, some masterful timing. Spook is really good at his timing. There we go, look at that. The pollution. He's a behemoth slayer uber, kinda. He's on his last KB, so if you just chip him down just a little bit, like a housewife hit right there. Uh, this should zombie kill? Okay, no, sadly not. But housewife can still zombie kill, right? Damn, okay, whatever. That's fine, that doesn't matter. We're being on the base anyways. We're good to go. This was just an annoying little stage. That's all that the stage was. It's just one of those stages where it's like, you just, it just doesn't give you enough time to prepare, you know, before everything pops out. It's just, yeah, and then plus, Zenry being that, like, annoying crowd controller with that surge slow is just, does, just doesn't help. But look at that, we did it, okay. What's going on, Moat? Alright, is your Legend music? The base is really close again. When I realized, a lot of these stages are close distance. This is like the third stage that has this range. Alright, so it's a base hit thing. It looks like it. Oh, okay, now it comes to Behemoth Gore. Okay, I was about to say. Complaining earlier, but there he is. Okay, now we're gonna see what's in here. Okay. As usual, a very random assortment of enemies. Elder Sloth. So we got like another Sloth stage technically. Uh, with a Mr. Murr. Okay, we got a Kumanchu Royale enemy in here. Uh, at least one good thing compared to the last stage with this is the fact 
that I can actually farm up money, so money isn't too much of an issue. And plus, I also got Breaker Blast, so I can just push them back a little bit. Question is, can we one-shot this? To beat this first try. Yeah, I, this looks like a stage I can beat with my first try. My journal lineup seems to be good enough for this. Okay, maybe the gimmick is me beating him down fast, so the Outer Sloth can clean up my units before, when the second one pops out. Like, I have Octo for Mr. Murr, so, like, we're good to go. I like the Cats of Cosmos music in the background. Definitely hypes up the subchapter a little bit. Okay, yo, these freaking uh, swirls and stuff, man. They're really pushing. Holy crap, what is this wave? This wave of enemies is insane. Akane! Nice savage blow. Oh my god. Akane, I think Akane saved us all. Oh my god. <laughs> yo, that random onslaught of like enemies just popping out like that. Trying to just... Oh my god, dude. Akane saved us there, no doubt about it. That savage blow pretty much killed everything that was a threat. Let me get some water. That stressed me out a little bit with all those uh, behemoth gories. But look at that, we did it. Let me celebrate with some water and move on to the next stage. This next stage sounds so scary. It's called Threatening Road. What is on the road that is so threatening in this stage? Oh, okay, I got you. It's a surge base that's the threat. And yet again... Close distance. Oh, okay. Little clean one. Cute little guy right here. Cute, but can be quite destructive, especially with the surge base. Dude, anything I like send out, the surge base is gonna attack me. And yeah, it's been a while since we had a surge base, right? Okay, a little bun bun too. Okay, so looking like a fishman stage, because a lot of these guys are floating. I think the Cleonel's floating. Floating angel. But you never know because angels ignore floating attack, so okay, now beam down to my base. Okay. Yet again money problems because i cannot kill any of these guys okay bore of him okay well then we have a boss that's gonna destroy me sanzo looks like it floating angel equals sanzo papa luga all the way let's get papa luga action in here today like we got his true form just recently why not use him ew what are you get out of here you're disgusting yeah we still got to be cautious of money a little bit in this stage but i think we should be okay if we can kill the little bun buns fast, you know? And also, I just realized too, we got normal doges in this stage, interestingly enough. I don't think we normally see normal doges in the game. But that's cool. I like seeing some more early game enemies in here, at least early game peons. Like we like oh my god. Oh that was a nicely timed fishman spook. Oh my god, you don't want these little uh Cleonals near your base. They chip them down from quite a distance. Okay, I get a door on out. Oh no, Dorn's gonna miss now because he's knocked back. Well then, interesting. Wow. Holy crap, man. Yet again, no cash. Oh my lord, man. The subchapter of no cash. That's what that's what this is. Doron just dipped. Yeah, Doron just kinda like left. Like he just kinda like disappeared. He was about to do a surge, but just disappeared. He was like, nah. He was too scared of the borf, and he's like, nah, I'm not gonna do anything, bro. Huh. You saw that surge for a moment? It's not gonna pop up. I don't even think I need shield at this point. These shields are kind of useless. Because of the surge base. Okay, this is going better than last time. More due to the rich cat. Can can? Nice. Good hit. Can we kill him before the Vorphan pops up? So we have like a little bit of less pressure here. Because allevi allevi alleviating the pressure would be nice. I think that's the right term. Kill the little bun bun at least before the Vorphan pops up. Please, come on. Kill him! Fishman, fishman, fishman. Yes! Ah, yes, Fisherman, thank you. What what kind of surge was that? Hello? That was such a stupid surge. Come on, bro. No way. That is such a dumbass surge. Okay, you gotta kill... You gotta kill everything fast before the Borfum comes out. It's like a time stage thing. Future Spook here. Here's a fun fact. This isn't a time stage. The level's gimmick uses the kill count feature, and the boar is set up to spawn when 50 of your units die throughout the battle. It's interesting, as Ponus really uses this feature, and this is the second time used in ZL between these piggies in the previous two stages. Let's get early Dorons out too, just to chip. It's all about rushing and shipping these guys, and Doron! Love the surge there, that was nice. That hit the mark. Even though you dipped last time, that was a pretty good surge. And I'm pretty happy about you. Can can? Pop! Beautiful! Oh, we killed him. Nice. Okay, good. Just in time for the second one. Pop. Okay, nice. Okay, good, good. Now we got... Okay! Get him! Get him out of here! 
It's little clay one. This little clay one with a combination of both of them is really bad. Because this clay one can ruin my whole entire Sanzo stack. Now we can just kill the both of them by himself. I think that might be the gimmick of the stage. I'm not 100% sure. But it looks to be like that unless another Fiona pops up. All right, I, dude, oh my god, what am I doing? Get Papaluga out, bro. We need some Papaluga action. That curse is going to be nice. I think it resists... I mean, not resists, but I think it takes out the area effect or something off of him. I'm not sure what curse really does against Borfim here. But I hope it helps a little bit. But unfortunately, no. We can't really see what Papaluga would do against the Borfim because we killed him pretty quickly. Because that was pretty much the whole stage. Well, the only great thing about Papaluga here is his surge immunity, but... The only thing he really is doing is just assisting us beating the base, which good job, Papa Luga. Good job for helping us beat down the base. All right, so Threatening Road was... No, it's threatening if you don't know the gimmick. But if you do, it's not as threatening as you would expect. So, so city. The names, bro. The names of these are so weird. Okay. DB Bunny. Whoa, okay. Queen B. Okie dokie. Queen B introduction here. That made me jump a little bit. Oh my god. All right, so we got Queen Bee now. And Bear on Bunnies, of course, just to, like, ruin everything. I hate Bear on Bunny. Get the frick out of here. Queen Bee has its debut in ZL5 with the Angelic Otters, too. Oh, God, the Angelic Otters are really pushy. Yeah, I don't think they're going to be doing with this lineup. We need some uh, more anti-angel and stuff. Yeah, it looks like we need some rushers. So it looks like my level 30 Bahamut is going to help us out here, you know? Okie dokie, let's try this. Ken! My boy Ken here is gonna help out. Let's see if we can kill this otter fast with the can can stack. Dude, this otter is so strong. Wow. They finally taken down. Now I can't even afford Ken. Nice! Ah! Love the money struggles. Push him back. Nice, we actually got a knockback on him normally. Okay, we're pushing the otter back with Ken. But Ken is getting absolutely butchered here because it's freaking goddamn... Look, I don't have any money! Oh my god, dude! I am so sick of this! I am actually so sick of the money struggles in these stages, man! The Queen B really just doesn't help in this stage either. But that slow is just awful. Wow, man, this is so bothersome, dude. This is extremely bothersome. It really agitates me to the point where I just kind of just want to freaking not play this game anymore, man. Put some more peons on the screen just for a little bit of cash! And look at this. Rich cat. We all love the rich cat, don't we? Look at this. We're in his blind we're in, we're in the Queen Bee's blind spot and all that. Ken is just getting some work in here. Look at this. This is perfect. This is what we wanted here. This is what I would have loved to have without a rich cat, but no. Apparently Rich Cat is managed for to do something like this. Okay, we killed him. Nice, nice, nice. The question is, is that uh, is that it? That's the question. Please no second Angelic Otter. I don't really want another one. Okay, Baron Bunny, just piss off. Of course there's another one. Of course there's another one! Why wouldn't there be? I think that was like a genuine knockback on the Otter there. Nice. Okay, there we go. Ken? Okay, help me out? Okay. Okay, we're, we're, we're getting somewhere. Okay, Otter dead? Send a lot of things out. Come on. Go! Let's do this! Come on! Get that, get that Otter out of here, bro! Dark Otter, man. Oh my god, dude. This one Dark Otter. And I bet that was it, right? I bet it was just two waves of Otters. Yep. It was two waves of Otters. Of course. Honestly, screw it. I'm gonna try it. I didn't, I didn't do it against the Otter this time, but... I'll wake up a helmet with the Otter here. It could help. At least I checked him half health now. I think that was half health. I don't remember how many knockbacks he has. Oh, no, he has another knockback. It's all about rushing this stage, you know? It's all about rushing it. That's why the Queen Bee has such high LD. Okay, let's get Ken out now. Don't you hit my Ken. You still hit my Ken. Oh, my God, dude. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, at least we're piling up the DPS on him. That's nice. Can we kill him, actually? Wait, are we gonna actually kill him? No. I was about to say. We could still kill him, though. Come on, at least like 10 through. Please. Thank you. Okay. Ken is here to save the day by knocking this otter back so I can pretty much kill this queen bee. Which unfortunately had another knockback. Damn. Okay. Good, good, good. Being jug otter dead. I, th I think we got it, honestly. Look at this. And Ken is still here alive and kicking. Kicking out that bear on bunny. 
Okay, there we go. We did it. Okay. Huh. Finally did it. Nice. Wake up Bahamut and Ken carry all the way. The Wake up Bahamut did really great in the beginning. Look at that. We did it. Beautiful. Pop. Love it. I don't know cave. Let's see what's in here because I don't know what's in here. What is in this cave? Let's see. Oh, yeah. We got this background. This, like, uncanny Legends background. This is a cool background. The base is menacing, though. That's for sure. Oh, God. I don't like this. I don't like the peons already. Oh, God. I don't like the peons. The honey one, a little doge is... Oh, God. What's next? Freaking wild doge? I'm really scared to see what's in this stage. We have seen... Four out of the seven enemies? There's three more enemies left, and one of them is going to be the big boss. And I wonder what the big boss is going to be. Again? The relic duck? Oh, my God, bro. Okay. Relic duck is here in ZL also. So then, th this looks like... Actually, no, I was about to say it's his debut, but I kind of forgot that he was... He was in the first stage of ZL, but this is like the first time we're actually seeing him in a normal ZL stage. So yeah, we have a lot of Relic Duck action in this update when we think about it, because we see him in the Volcanic Culling stages. I would have to say though, the beginning of this subchapter sucked ass, but the later stages aren't as bad. I do generally like them. All right, here we go. Let's get Luz out before they all pop out. And then once they pop out, we'll get Doron out. And then it's time for the final fight of this subchapter. We have had our goods and bads in it. And we're on the good part, which is this final epic fight. All right, maybe I should have frozen the Relic Duck when Luza got there because Luza is freaking slow. I forgot how slow he is. Okay, oh god, yeah, the Berserk Cory, man. Definitely threatening. Okay, good. Luza, thank you. Okay, can't get some hits. Luza, no, don't do that, please. Don't get knocked back. Push them back a little bit, thank you. No, no! <laughs> but that Dora now! Oh my god, dude. Okay, Doran, please. Good surge, I like that. That wasn't that bad. I may have to actually try this again. This time with actually better Doran timing. Dude, we killed Berserk Cory. That's not fair, man. That's not fair! This is not fair, man. Come on. Alright, here we go. We are back! And this time we got collab carry with us. With some wave blocking of Ava 0, Zero. Oh, I got knocked back already. That's not good. Let's see you do some good surges, Doran. Let's see it. Come on, come on. No, Ava's dead. Ah, shoot. That's not good. No! No! Oh my god. Ava... Oh my god, dude. Ava failed me. Yeah, we're not killing him, bro. I think the strat here, I would say with this setup at least, is to... Since the Relic Duck is faster, to lure the Relic Duck up front. And then kind of lose him away. Okay. Oh, he died. No, that's not good. Alright, no meat shields. How about that? Well, that doesn't work either. Okay, we're finally back. Oh my god, dude. I don't know why this is such a struggle, man. I think it's just the surges, man. They, they really get to me. At least for Ava 0, zero. I'm gonna try lore strats a little bit. Doron, lose up. Ava. Get everything out now. And we can extend the freeze just a little bit more. That cannon. Here we go. Lose a knockback. Beautiful. Get those Octos out to help. The final fight. Oh, he's being on the base. No, Zerkori! What are you doing? How are you being on the base already? Oh my god, dude. Uh, this stage shouldn't be this much of a problem. Alright, here we go. Luring tactic and more anti-wave blockers. That's pretty much the game plan at this point. Ava. Okay, Luza, good. Even luring it just doesn't is not as effective either. Doesn't set their like place right in front of my base, but it still kind of work. Okay, knock knock back on the duck. Dude, imagine this without Luza. Imagine me not having Luza yet having to do this. Imagine this insanity. Okay, if I got knocked back, but he's still alive. Duck dead? Okay, we did it. Okay, good. Nice. Okay. GG's. Finally. Oh my god, dude. That took so much longer than it had to. Oh my lord, dude. This stage. Took so much out of me for some reason. But there you go. Subchapter completed. We did it. Finally. Eight stages. Or a trial of eight stages that make me absolutely lose my sanity, bro. This is insane.